So I'm a big fan of Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars. I also like to watch the YouTube channel Bella May's Designs. And watching her series on fiction to fashion, turning fictional characters' outfits into, well, creating red carpet designs that a fictional character would wear, I was inspired by that. And I don't want to steal her series or anything. I'm just going to call this an Ahsoka inspired dress. But basically I was thinking, what if Ahsoka went to prom? So I realized I can make this out of scraps we already had. And that's basically what I chose the color scheme off of. We had some brown scraps and we had some dark red scraps. So I just used that color scheme kind of her like season five and before that color scheme, not her season seven. Uh, color scheme, but if you want to watch me make her season 7 costume, I have a video on that. So I saw that Ahsoka likes diamonds and like cutouts and things. So I had this idea to make a dress that in the back had big diamond patterns in different colors. So here is my design. The front is like just a regular high neck thing and then it crisscrosses into the back and the back is all crazy and fancy. And I also ended up making some pretty cool fingerless gloves with a diamond cut out on the back of them. So keep watching if you want to see that. Let's get started. So I started out trying to drape the pattern for the bodice just on my dress form and that really didn't work with all the crazy lines and seams I wanted. And I don't have much experience draping, so it wasn't turning out very well. So then I used a method I learned on Bella May's Designs YouTube channel, where she says to make a pattern for a bodice by making a regular fitted basic bodice on your dress form. Then draw the lines you want on it, cut out those pieces, and those are your pattern pieces. So I did that, I made a basic back piece, and then just drew the lines I wanted onto it, and that worked so much better. I cut out my red and brown and black pieces according to those pattern pieces and added seam allowance and space for a zipper. And then for the front of the bodice, I mostly just draped it. It's pretty much just three rectangles and taking in a bit at the waist. So once I had the pieces of the bodice cut out, I pinned them together and tried them all on to see what they would look like. I am just blown away by how well that worked. Like, it's all ready to go. And it fits perfectly. <sighs> so then I sewed all the little back pieces together and ironed seams. Then I sewed the front pieces together and sewed them together at the side to the back pieces. Then I cut out the skirt pieces. I had enough for three rectangular panels of red and three rectangular panels of brown, but that was a little too tight for me for a skirt. Luckily I had barely enough brown fabric left to make some triangles to put into the sides of the skirt to make it more flowy. So I sewed all the skirt pieces together except at the back where the zipper would be. Then I sewed the skirt to the bodice and then I sewed in the brown zipper. I noticed that the black satin straps that were connected to the back as part of the pattern piece were super ugly and tight, so I cut them off and sewed on some better ones and they were much more comfortable and better looking. Then I hemmed the skirt. I'd cut out all the pieces to be extra long so I could trim them down how I wanted later. I decided instead of a separate belt with the pointy rectangle hanging down the front like Ahsoka sometimes wears and was in my design, I decided to just have that be part of the front red panel of the skirt, so I hemmed that panel to be longest and pointy. Then I hemmed the other panels of the skirt to go up and down to the points in the front and back. Oh, and a trick my mom taught me for when you're doing top stitching and don't want the reverse stitches to show, instead of reverse stitching, just leave long tails of thread and use a needle to bring the front thread to the back and just tie a knot there. I used this technique on this dress since I'm changing colors and hemming a lot and I wanted the stitching to look nice. 
Then I started working on the fingerless gloves with the diamond cutouts in the back. So basically each glove is a rectangle folded over and sewed at the side with a gap for my thumb to fit through. I made sure to cut out the diamonds in the back with a little seam allowance. I hand hemmed the tops and bottoms and thumb holes of the gloves, then I worked on the diamond cutouts, hemming them, and they were tiny and hard, but I think they turned out really cool. This hand sewing was fun because I had something to do while watching a live broadcast by my church, so that was nice. I decided to use a black satin belt, which I had made for something else, but hadn't ended up using. So I just sewed some hooks and eyes on it for a closure and wore it with this Ahsoka dress. So I'm finally trying it on, um, just with the shirt that I have on, but it's done. I love the gloves. They feel like exactly the type of thing is so good where it's the skirt, shoes, belt, back. Then I had the idea to make a kyber crystal necklace and I found a tutorial online for how to carve one out of hot glue gun stick. I tried it, and it was really hard to carve, I must have the wrong kind of glue gun stick, but I managed it and put some Mod Podge on it to make it shiny, and I wrapped a gold wire around it and threaded it on a gold necklace chain. I'll link the tutorial below. And with that, my Ahsoka-inspired dress was done! an Ahsoka inspired dress. It was fun to try designing something she might wear and making it out of materials I already had at home. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching!